Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Avalon the Black Fortress with me, Atantuo. Alright, um, yes, so we are about to enter these dark parts, or this dark, mazy part of the woods. Um, looking for, well, a couple of things. We haven't found the ogre yet, and we have yet to find the northern settlement. To look what's uh, what has been going on there, although the uh, unfriendly uh, well battle instructor uh, Lisa that we met last episode um, kind of indicated that the settlement might uh, be burned to the ground possibly. She said she saw smoke from there, but uh, we ran into the Shadow Beast for the third time. Uh, the woods grow deathly quiet. All animal sounds fade away, then you hear strange scraping and moaning sounds. They are faint at first, but getting closer. As you look around for whatever is haunting you, is hunting you, you see a familiar form has appeared down the path. Once again the Shadow Beast lunges toward you. This time it doesn't make any sounds. It is still angry from your last encounter. It leaps for your throat. Oh doesn't even try to, to talk this time. Well, that's unfortunate. In that case, let's answer it in the same in the same manner. Hmm, should I open with a with a uh, savage blow? Actually, it already has workers, so war cry would be redundant. Yeah. Let's hit it then. And you just attack normally. 78, that's pretty decent. Well, both both of those uh, missed. Thanks to the workers, I guess. And some poison? Huh. Wow, he keeps missing. The knockback and the knockback still works though. Well, it's a bit boring to just keep keep punching it with our or keep wailing at it with our normal attacks, but it works. The shadow beast howls in anger and pain, then it turns and runs again. Um Try to block it, flows around me, running to safety. Or is it? And um, are these walking bones allied with it? Or is it just a coincidence that these. Oh, what? Why are you running? Why, why did it decide to run that way when I clicked here? It's uh, weird. Oh, I guess it, yeah, it must be more than a coincidence that these undead started appearing here. Okay, good. I can kill ghouls in one attack. Ghouls are typically bad news. They tend to be able to do nasty things like paralyzing. Well, actually, let's run over here. Please kill that one. Okay, good. Oh, and another ghoul. Nope. You damage that one, and you damage that one, and now she can take care of all of them. Uh, will it hit that one? Sometimes it's a bit hard to tell. I think this one is not going to be affected, actually. But she cannot go any further. Um, maybe Ice Storm is better. Yes, Ice Storm will actually hit all of them. Including the ghoul? Yes, if I aim it here. Very nice. Okay, that one survived. Um, yeah, I no longer sense the shadowy beast. Okay. Uh, an enemy is visible? Where? Oh, I guess I know that 
there's an enemy here, even though I don't see it. I can't see its uh, attack range. That's interesting. Well then. Okay. There he is. Okay, now we can. Uh, terminate combat. Leather cap. Oh, okay. Oh, more undead. And even more. Well, wow. okay. Um, would you please? Oh. Yeah, it's sometimes around like edges of tiles. Lines of sight can be a bit. A bit wonky. Um. Okay. Was that it now? Or are there going to be even more? Not that I mind too terribly much, but... Okay. So this is a real maze. I mean, well, not, not a real maze as in... Uh, one that it's going to be hard to get out of. Just really confusingly built. Oh, and there's another trapdoor here. Moldy trapdoor. Can I actually open this one? I can. And it leads to the same general map, but a completely different area. Okay. Before I go down here, or actually, hmm. now nah, while we're here, let's let's explore. I expect, or I don't expect to find the lair of the shadowy beast down here, actually. Bone spider. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, what? Ghouls, okay. So, some type of spider that likes to hang around with the undead. Okay, let them come to me. Okay. So, bone spiders can apparently also blink. But they are otherwise no big, no big threat. So yeah, as I was, as I was saying, um, this does not seem to be. Well, actually, the the shadowy beast might be in in league with undead. So I I really don't know. Ultimately. I really have can only guess. So this pathway is lined with totems, gruesome trophies taken recently, stuck onto sharpened pieces of wood and jammed into the mud. Two of the trophies are from Camarians. You hear drunken singing to the west, also wet chewing noises. Oh, so this is the ogre stand then. Must be. The ogre being to the west, so let's finish exploring this part here. Oh, and yet another ladder. Interesting. Okay. Another moldy trapdoor. Hmm. Is this part of the riverbank? Oh, don't. Doesn't seem to be ever. Or like it would ever be accessible. Okay. I'm, I guess this is just an alternate entrance, yeah. Looks like it. Well, in that case, I guess let's go back and take care of the ogre before we continue or we finish exploring this, this uh, the forest section. Finally, uh, cornering the beast maybe in its lair, which Lisa was afraid to do. So yeah, there he is, Skull Taker. 
Um, let's save. And there is a small island in the middle of this underground lake. On it, you find an ogre dozing in a crude nest of sticks. He is surround surrounded by piles of trash and pools of unpleasant greenish liquid. You aren't sure how something surrounded by so much water can smell so bad. Well, water itself can smell pretty bad, so there's that. Then your foot lands in some slime with a loud squish. In moments, the ogre is on his feet. He has a lot of bones hanging from leather thongs around his neck, including one human skull. He snarls at you. Rah! What do you do in my lair? Why are you here? <laughs> well, you may guess three times. Um... <laughs> Should I try to talk to it, like civilized person. It is clearly a human killer. Hmm. I, I will demand respect. I am from Avedon. He looks confused. Avedon? What Avedon? That thing to eat? Tasty thing? You Avedon? I eat Avedon. Before you can respond, he snarls and lunges at you. The smell makes you want to gag. Alright. Mm, do I want it to come to me first? I mean, I can't reach it, so it's... Um, it doesn't make much of a difference either way. Attack him first, opening with a nice... Um, smashing... Oh god, I keep forgetting the name of the skill. It's, it's not that hard. Uh, whatever. Just attack and... Or miss, that's that's fine too. And he knocks back. Uh, that's just... Just lovely. Okay. Put a war curse on him, that's always good. Attack him... Hit, maybe? Yes, okay. Oh well. Well, it... Uh, this shouldn't be too much of a problem at all. Uh, he's furious goes into a berserk frenzy, but he's still war cursed. Um, Shima's ensnared though. That's unfortunate. So... Oh, nice. He might actually... Oh, never mind. He decided to walk back into range. That works too. That was really easy. Let's see what he dropped. Wow, quite a, quite a lot of stuff. Coins, first and foremost. Uh, leather jerkin, just some normal pants. Freshly laundered, yes, I highly doubt that. Um, oh, Bladesman's mantle. Wow, I almost dismissed this as a normal mantle or a normal cloak. Clearly is not. Plus 5% to melee damage. Well, 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 well. Um. Shima, what do you say? Mm, fire resistance is nice and all that, but 5% more damage is nicer. So you can have this. Gain some fire resist. Okay, just another fine cloak. We already have enough of those, I think. And this is just another steel breastplate. Okay. The same we already have. Okay, cool. And what's in here? More money. Cool. Okay, that was the ogre. A lot less scary than uh, I was made. I was led to believe. Oh, and this. Hmm. There seems to be another part of this cave that I have yet to find. Okay. Oh, this is a dead end. Uh, well, in that case, 
Let's look here first. And another trapdoor. Well, I have an idea where that might lead. Right here. Okay. Oh, there are several small lizards hanging from the walls and ceiling of this tunnel. Their skins have strange glistening rainbow hues and their eyes glow. These creatures are another sign that some strange powerful magic is at work in these woods. When these reptiles get larger, you suspect that each will be dangerous in its own special way. Uh, maybe I should take care of them while they're not dangerous? Oh, I guess... Radiant Reptile. Oh. I guess there are some grown ones. Um, you move over here and attack it? Okay. Quite a few hit points. And uh, what was that attack? A curse hole. Okay, putting war curse on us. Not a big fan of that. Especially. Um, particularly because of the reduced hit chance. Okay, this one is already. Was already going to attack her anyway. Alright. Money. Still haven't found a better razor disc. Although I might have seen one in the shop back in Avedon, actually, now that I think about it. But then again, I really don't use it often enough to really. Um, that I really need to be too worried about it. Oh. Um, goo lizards. Ugh. What are, what are they? Like, uh, are they creating all this, all this green goo? Or do they just live in it? Oh, they die really easy. Except when I miss, of course. Hmm. I guess we will never find out what they could have done. Is this really all there is here? No hidden switches on the walls? It seemed suspiciously easy. Oh. Oh, another way up. Oh, okay. Leading to this little area here. Well then. Oh, is this the settlement then? Yes, it is. You enter the ruins of a second abandoned settlement. It was smaller than the first. It was abandoned more recently and in a much more violent fashion. Only one of the halls in this settlement was completed. The half-finished walls of several other structures are already crumbling and rotting. Bloodstains are visible nearby, probably a few weeks old. Only the shelter of branches and leaves kept them from being washed away in the rain. The last humans in this place might have intended to flee, but they were too late. Well, this was to be expected. Okay, some construction sites slash ruins. As you explore the ruins of this village, several Camarians step out of the forest. Some of them have bows. All are aimed at you. You start to ask them what happened, but then you see their eyes. You have had enough training to instantly recognize that they aren't in their right minds. Have they been charmed? Did they forage, into, did they forage the, the wrong mushrooms? You can't be sure, and they certainly can't tell you. You duck for cover just as the first arrows fly. Um, okay. Well, I guess if they are ranged attackers, let them come to me. 
or maybe they just want to get in get in close uh, either way no oh, there's one okay she wanted to shoot and a charm sage okay so I guess the game gives away that they are actually charmed um, you attack you use this even though there are two more coming this way okay including another sa another sage <clears throat> Okay. Um, why don't you finish off that one? Hmm. Okay. After her. Okay. And that seems to be it. Oh no, not quite. Okay. Lockpick, Urine Brew. Uh, that's it. Shima. Oh, Shima bends down and picks up a long tube of glass. Look at this. Nathalie looks at it. She nods, fascinated. Yes, that's odd. The Shadow Walker sniffs the glass and says, This is alchemical equipment, recently used. A strange thing to find in an isolated barbarian village, unless more is happening here. Hmm, okay. That, I guess that bears further investigation. Let's inspect the uh, the one finished building. Oh, lots of bones in here. And two chests. With um, a wand of fire. Okay, well, nothing too special. You take that. Now, uh, where did those attackers come from? Oh, a bronze girdle. Do I need that? I guess I can use it. Hmm, did I finish exploring over here before I found the trapdoor? I guess so. I mean... Huh, maybe actually... I was meant to find this, now that I look at this. The river seems to continue this way. So I will actually make a little jump cut uh, to finish off exploring this area here. Okay, not that I expect there to be much here at all. In fact, <laughs> well, that, uh, that was it. Literally, like, three or four unexplored tiles. Well, that was worth exploring. Um, see you back at the, at the abandoned settlement then. Alright, and let's uh, continue this way then. Hmm, cage in the woods. Interesting. Okay. This is, is this already? Yes, this is already the border of the map, and there is an abandoned, uh, a remote workshop out here. That's a bit unexpected. And a chest with another arcane scroll. I already had one of those. Um, okay, more regular scrolls, readable scrolls, hmm, okay, iron bars, well then let's uh, take a look at this workshop. It 
it's on a new map, even though there would have been some room left on the other one. But I guess this is uh, probably pretty important, right? I mean, it must be where we where we finally find the beast and uh, its origins. So you find something fascinating and strangely strangely unsurprising in this remote chamber dug out of the dirt and surrounded by a moat you find a mage's workshop it is fully equipped alchemical equipment magic circles paper and pens it hasn't been used for several weeks moss and mold are steadily advancing over the precious equipment and yet you suspect that this workshop isn't needed anymore it has achieved its purpose a huge shadowy creature paces through the crumbling workshop then it sees you and flees to the south at last, you have tracked the beast to its lair. Okay, so, my theory, um, Moritz Cree has turned the, um, what's his name, the, the lord of the, uh, of the tribe, into the shadow beast, possibly in trying to grant him more, more power make him a better fighter something like that and now um, they're pretending or the, the mage is pretending that the Lord doesn't see doesn't want to see anybody while maybe or maybe not looking for for a way to cure him we don't know um, Okay, <laughs> that did not heal me, but summon an another icy bones instead. We've dealt with those before. No big deal. Okay, and there he is. The shadow beast. Oh, more of these. More of these, um basins. Let's try them. Oh, we were healed. Very good. Okay. Oh, but only only our health. Maybe this is going to restore... No, nothing. You gain new insight. Oh, did I gain experience? Hmm. Maybe. I guess if I try to uh, drink from this, I will probably trigger an event. Yes. At least you enter at last. You enter the lair of the shadow beast. The remains of many of its victims are scattered on the floor. Many of them are from the small settlement above. The smell is horrible. The creature itself lurks in the back of the cave. It lies curled on the floor, making pitiful mewing mewling noises and licking its wounds. Its previous encounters with you have left it seriously hurt. The shadows around it are starting to fade. When you get close to it, it rises, turns toward you, and opens its mouth. No sound comes out. Yes, I'm going to wait. When it sees that you aren't going to attack, the creature starts to let out some more of its strange hacking sounds. And then it lets out an actual clear word. I. The beast takes a step back. It seems as surprised by this as you are. Nathalie says, How fascinating. A savage killer, but made with mind. Made with a mind. <laughs> you what? <laughs> um... It says, I, 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 then it pauses, then it says, no, no, it is searching for another word, but it can't seem to grasp it. Once again, it is growing more agitated. Keep calm, speak slowly. The creature ignores your words. It rocks from side to side, some of its wounds re reopen and blood trickles down its sides. It keeps saying, no, 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 then it looks up at you. Its eyes seem sad. It is ready to give up. It starts to walk forward, stepping over its victims, and then it pounces. Oh, come on. You need, don't need to do this. Beast. Ah, so unfortunate. I don't want to kill it, but I mean, I'm going to. If it doesn't, I mean, uh, obviously, the only... The only choice is to either fight it or, you know, uh, let it kill me. <laughs> it 
so obviously I'm going to fight it. Okay. Um, yeah, that is... That did not heal me at all. Well, that might have actually made it, made things a lot more difficult for me. Um, uh, whoops. Oh well. Two large clumps of shadow break up from the beast. They immediately solidify into two huge insubstantial wolves. They aren't animals, only mindless constructs. But still very dangerous, okay. Gotcha. Um... Vicious Wisp. Oh, maybe I should... try to... Um... Try to control the... Try, try to keep the number of enemies slightly low. Uh, Shima, hang in there. Oh... Oh god. Okay. That one's terrified, so I guess it should run next turn. Um, Shima, you heal? Oh god, this ghast is a problem. I can't run away from it. Um, I can try to use a war cry. Uh, not war cry, uh, to challenge, actually. And you attack with lightning? Oh, that was not enough damage to really make much of a difference. More poison. Oh, no. War curse and vulnerability curse. Oh, that's nasty. Alright, um... Actually, yeah, let's use a blessing crystal here. Um, also... Summon a rat. Why not? Don't know if a giant rat is going to be of very much use here. You workers, everybody, that should help. Shadow Defender. Oh, that is actually... No, that's... They're all called the same. Okay, kill it? No, not really. These are pretty tough. Wow, I'm not making a lot of progress here. Um, I guess let's uh, thin their numbers a little bit. Man, this gas is not going to die anytime soon. Please kill the defender? Oh, come on. Oh, I can control the red. I was expecting it to be um, AI controlled. Well then... What? How can the Shadow Defender be immune? Um, it's, not, it's not immune to physical attacks, is it? Maybe the, the giant red attacks with magic? I don't know. Um, you take care of that wolf, finally. Okay, um, you move here, attack that one, and miss. Wow, this rat is super useful so far. Um, okay, Ashima's turn again. Guess he's... Oh, uh, he must have skipped at least one turn due to slowness. Okay, that sucks a bit. Um, push of battle, speed burst. I guess. Oops. Um, oh, I thought I had two of these. Did I? Did I use one? I might have. Hmm. Ah, whatever. Use battle frenzy. And uh, okay, that is actually immune to physical attacks. What the heck? Um, kill it with magic then. Come on, oh, could you 
please just hit at least once. I mean, if nothing else, it uh, allows Shima to backstab, so that's definitely an advantage. La la la, slowly but surely, okay. You... Ah, miss. Why did you miss? <sighs> okay, um, whose turn is it? Chima again? Wait, no, the rat. Uh, oh, Pat AP, okay, I see. Now it hit. Um, now it's Shima's turn, okay. You war curse it again. Oh, that was a lot of damage, wasn't it? Yes, wow. Uh, huge amount of damage. You... Uh, wait. Oh, it's still his turn, of course. Um, backstab. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You kill the ghast. Oh, man. Finally. That took a lot longer than it should have. Vicious Wisps, hmm, I wonder, oh, she can't quite use her Ice Storm yet, let's do this then, yeah, that was good, that was worth it, um, and maybe finish one of them off, no, they're immune to magic, okay, I kind of guessed as much, and also Shima is really close to death, I should definitely have healed him. Um, it's the pet's turn. Okay, please. Attack, nope. Okay, I don't know how that missed Chima, but uh, I'm glad it did. Heal and attack the beast, and you... Wait, he's moving slowly. Ugh. Come on. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three... Four and his challenge just to do something. Um, and you attack the shadow beast, I guess. Okay, he's summoning more help. We are ensnared. Awesome. And it's trying to make its way towards Nathalie, or not? Okay. Um. Okay, whose turn is it? My rat is still there, but it's terrified, okay. Um, well... Attack at least for a little bit. And... This is still on cooldown. Um, oh wait, I, I can reach. For some reason I thought I would still be ensnared, but, uh, that was over. Okay, let's, uh, use this. Wow, okay, the Shadow Beast slumps to the ground. It has almost no energy left, though it has been wounded enough times to kill any natural beast ten times over, the dark magic within it sustains it. Lacking the power it provides, its shade servants fade away. It looks up at you and says, with surprising clarity, No! No hurt! No hurt! So you can talk now. Urgh, no hurt! No, I... I no hurt! No hurt you! The beast looks up at you. It seems confused and surprised by the words it has finally managed to form. <sighs> hmm... Why can I trust you after the horrible things you have done? Or, hmm. Why did you kill all these all these people? Arr, hurt, hurt, hurt. You can't be sure exact exactly what it means, but with some time it might be able to explain more clearly. Yes. Okay, what do you want? It takes a step forward and bows its head. Hurt. No hurt. You no hurt. Then it makes it takes another step forward. It seems to be submitting to you. Shima watches the creature closely. This sort of behavior can be a trick, but I don't think that is the case here. The beast seems well and truly beaten. Yeah, I mean 
I should be able to finish it off even if it was a trick. Huh, well, hmm. Well, I, it doesn't need to be destroyed if it submits itself to me. Will I, will I take it with me to Abaddon, though? Maybe it can be cured there. Don't know what's going to happen if I'm if I bring it back to Dorlstead, so I guess I will take you back to Avedon. The beast understands what you say. It lowers its head and takes a few steps forward. For a brief moment you think that one of these missions is going to end well. Then something happens. It raises its head. It has smelled something. It lets out a long, low, horrible growl growl. It doesn't move to attack though. It is looking around, waiting for something or someone. Okay. Uh, hey, you vicious wisp. You seem to have missed something there. Okay, who's coming? The beast is now allied, technically. Oh, let's look before something interferes. Uh, another bronze girdle. Uh, can she use that? Well, she can. Sure, she has all the encumbrance limit she could ever want. Um, sure, meat from the Shadow Beast stand seems like a good thing to take. Um, arcane scroll, a longbow. Eh, I have better. Um, iron spear. Apprentice Rod. Dra Drake Scale Greaves. Ooh. 10% armor. Not that good. But energy resistance. Is that something for her? Um, well, it gives more armor than the wool pants. And the same amount of resistance. Just a different kind. So I guess that's good. Yeah, he has chain greaves. I mean, hmm. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Uh, scroll of lightning. Okay. Bronze helm has no, no value for selling. Okay, I think that's all. And there is Moritz Cree, as expected. A man walks into the cave and joins you. It is Morris Cree, the wizard of Dorlstead, the mage who turned you away from the gates of the fortress. He points his wand at the beast. Excellent work. I didn't think it was real, but you proved me wrong. Now we can destroy the horror together. Um, How did you get here? He speaks without turning his gaze from the beast. Nothing happens in these woods without my notice. My servants are everywhere. Wait, don't kill it. The beast looks from you to the wizard, confused. Moritz Kree sneers. Look at the bones. The beast has been murdering us. We will be avenged. Fire flares from his wand. The beast snarls and uses what little remains of its strength to pounce. Okay. Hey. Don't do that. Uh. Wait. Now I'm forced to fight it again? Alongside Moritz Kree, but I don't want to do that. That sucks. Uh, hang on a second. Um, yeah, I had to pause the video there for a second. Well, not just a second, but it was only a second for you. So, where were we? Um, Moritz Kree. I, I mean, I really want to defend the beast from him now. Still, still not sure I completely understand what's going on here. Um, I'm not going to attack it yet. Maybe it's going to try to run. Well, or its Kree attacks it. Okay, and it's become hostile again. I guess I have no other choice then. But to finish it off. Battle Frenzy. Oh, and it 
died. At last, the Shadow Beast is dead. The shadows finally fade, revealing a large, twisted, wolf-like creature. You can return to Avedon, but first you must obtain a sample of its flesh. Uh, or do I? Okay. As you bend down by the creature, Moritz Cree walks up beside you. What are you doing? Stay back, Farlander. This does not concern you. Moritz Cree starts to respond, but then he thinks better of it. All right, if you must. You collect a tooth and some bits of flesh and fur. As you rise, the wizard stares at you. He is trying to make a decision. Why did you kill the creature? Moritz Cree looks at the bones. Uh, yeah, I had to pause again. Sorry about that. So, um... Moritz Cree looks at the bones. Right. Uh, the thing was a horror. These bodies cry for vengeance. I gave it to them so that they may rest in peace. Their ashes will be sent to the sky. The people here are under my protection. I owe them no less. Yeah, you're a noble, a noble soul, for sure. Uh, the beast seemed very scared of you. Of course, most creatures, human and not, can sense my power. You are from Avedon, so you are not affected. As soon as it saw me, it knew I was its doom. Of course it was scared. So that's all it was, huh? Do you know anything about this hidden workshop? Moritz Cree... Moritz Cree's lip curls slightly. He looks at the dusty circles and equipment with disdain. I have my own tower, the finest place of magical learning in Chimeria. I don't know what rival burrow... Uh, what rival would burrow out this squalid little place, but I will find out. My guess is that whoever made this place ended up being devoured by the beast. Yeah, I will be returning to Avedon. The wizard starts to say something, then he stops. He examines you closely. He is still trying to make a decision. Yes? Anything else? The mage sighs. Whatever he has decided, he doesn't seem happy about it. I... No, we... We thank you for your help. Now that your business in Dralstead is done, we wish you a safe journey back home. I will report this victory over over our foe to Lord Carster Arl. Excuse me. He turns and walks away and walks toward the exit. Um... Wow, he walks extremely quickly, by the way. Well then. And I got an achievement for that. I'm not sure... Uh, Shadow of the Woods, yeah. I'm not sure I deserve one. I mean, I don't know if I could have handled the, the situation any different. Um, kind of doubt it. I tried my best anyway. Runestone of Purity. Um... Okay, increases decks. Nice. Uh, at least we get a reward for our troubles. Feel the the victory feels like it feels a bit hollow, but whatever. Okay, and we have a quick way out here, unless something is going to happen. Hmm. Well, now that I think about it, uh, can we? No, we cannot reach Lisa's home through here anyway. Uh, west? Yeah. Uh, what? What? Yeah. <coughs> okay. Let's map and um, speak to Kash once more, since we did find out about the other settlement, and he did send us to to investigate. Um, I slew the shadowy beast. Yes, I did. Oh, right, the, the, the ogre. Uh, the ogre, I completely forgot about that one. Um, so I hunted down that ogre that was worrying you. You tell the tale to Kush. I am grateful for your aid. That thing was hunting closer and closer to the settlement, and mere fires would not keep it away. Honor demands I pay you a bounty. He unlocks one of the northern doors. Oh, thanks. Um... And I slew the shadowy beast. You tell the tale of your victory over the shadow beast. Kash nods approvingly. I know that you are a pact warrior, a foe of Chimeria, but I am still grateful. 
Now my clan can return and properly claim this land. He gives you a leather tube. It contains a sheepskin scroll. That is a token of our gratitude. Okay. Moving on then. Uh, wait. Oh, it must have been a, an arcane scroll? I guess so. I think I had two before. Um, right, okay. And he unlocked one of the doors. Was it this, this one? I guess. Uh, except we cannot take any of that, so maybe it was this one. Yeah, that looks more like it. Uh, okay. We cannot take the incense, but we can take this. So, alright. Also another scroll of resurrection. And what's in here? Oh, okay. Battle potion, recovery potion, another blessed runestone, which increases hit chance or armor protection, okay. And a ruby. Nice. Okay, so I could not actually tell him about the settlement, but I then again, I guess he already knew, basically. Oh, wait. Uh, let's return to to the instructor, too, though. Um, going to make a quick cut there. Okay, and here we are, back at Lisa's house. Maybe she's going to teach us now that we dealt with the Shadow Beast? Oh, I also completely missed this uh, bowl here last time. Um, so, Lisa picks up wooden weapons and brushes off the dust. Okay, yeah, that's uh, still the same dialogue. Uh, has the forest been more peaceful lately? It has, and based on your noticeable sense of pride and smugness, I would guess that you are responsible. In that case, I am grateful, and yet I have not forgotten that we are enemies. Um... I would like for you to train me. Lisa smirks. Uh, yes. Okay. Now I can. Now I can boast. Uh, with slaying the ogre and shadow beast. So I slew the mighty ogre in the caves below us. Mighty? That mangy, th mangy thing? I laugh. That thing wasn't even worth dulling my blade with its skull. Yeah, well, I agree. It was pretty pathetic. But I have also slain the shadow beast. Lisa slowly nods. I cannot deny that accomplishment. You slew something even I hesitated to hunt. Yes, I will teach you a small amount of what I know. For a price. Okay, how is this going to work? I will live up to my oath. However, I will not let you see all of my secrets. There are too many, and it will take too long. If you give, my, if you give me proper tribute, however, I will teach you. I can make you more effective with missiles or with melee, we melee weapons. Each lesson will cost only 3,000 coins. I do not negotiate. Um, wow, that is uh, pretty steep. I don't even have that kind of money. Jeez. Um, well, in that case, I'm, I don't require training. But I will be back for that. I mean, I guess, yes. Okay, I can return for that service, once I have enough money. Okay, and this just healed us completely. Not that it makes much of a difference now. Uh, let's see here. We still have... Well, actually, we are done here, looks like. More side quests. Uh, the beast is dealt with. One way or the other. So let's return to Drollstead and... Um, actually return to Avedon without further ado. I don't really... I don't think I really wanna return to anybody in particular. Or actually, you know what? Uh, never mind. I will talk to... Uh, Lorella, was it? Lorella's father. Maybe he has something to say. He might not, but uh, he's really the only person here that I that I feel like uh, talking to anymore. Hey, Roth. Uh, yeah, the beast that killed your son is dead. 
Roth looks up at you and nods. For a moment, there is gratitude in his eyes. I thank you, for Aslak, for all who will not be lost. Avedon has aided us. And now, I ask you a favor. Yes? The gaze of Avedon brings only destruction to my kind. I ask you, please, leave and don't return. Otherwise, I fear what might... I fear what might happen. Um... As long as you don't th threaten the, ch the pact, you have nothing to fear from us. But Avedon has the ability to see threats everywhere. When they want to find crimes, they will. So please, accept my thanks and leave us. He nods to you one more time, then he turns away to be alone with his thoughts. Just alone with his thoughts. Okay. So at least we got a nice little bit of dialogue there. Um, but now I'm going to return to Avedon. And uh, I'll meet you back there. Okay, so we arrived back in Avedon, and I could not help but notice that Janelle is standing here. Wonder what's what's up with that. You emerge from the portal slowly. If you move too quickly after being magically wrenched across Linnaeus, the headache is murderous. As your vision clears, you are surprised to see Janelle waiting for you. It is odd seeing her outside of the garden. Welcome back to Avedon, she says. I have been speaking with the other hands. Now I must talk to you. Um, what do you want? I was told that you met several tribesmen from the Wildrealm. They were hiding in Chimeria, scared of the power of Avedon. Is that true? Um, uh, they were there. What do you want to know about them? I don't need to know about them. Their story is an old one. I need to talk to you about us, about us, about what we will do. Uh, go on. Those hiding tribesmen, they were only trying to enforce the right of the roads, one of the oldest traditions of my people. All tribes are allowed to take tolls from those who cross their lands. Avedon has decided over the last few years to steal it from us. I have argued against this, and I still will. Um... Why is this so important? Because for many tribes on the poorer on the poorer stretches of land, the tolls of those who passes, the the tolls of those who pass is major source of food and coin. Families will starve because of this, for a right we have had for centuries. Why did Avedon take this right away? Because they have declared that certain roads, many roads, will be free for travel, purely unencumbered for all. This sounds perfectly fair, of course, until it is your land that is being taken and controlled. So, what will you do about it? I have not decided. Never before has Avedon acted against the customs of the Wildrealm in such a blatant manner. I need to argue more, of course. But meanwhile, those folk of the tribes are lost in Chimeria, starving and alone. Um... Hmm. Well, I can tell you what you should do. She nods. That is fair. I can't expect you to understand the ways of my tribe and I can't force you to, ca to care about this as much as I do. I have much to think about, quickly. She turns and walks off, heading back to her garden. The conversation ends. Well, the thing is, had I decided to actually choose her as a member of my active party, my regular party, I might be willing to take her side in this uh, in this matter. Uh, as, things as things are, I mean, we know each other and we are colleagues, but I'm not going to risk anything for supporting her uh, personal agenda. Um, that's actually... yeah, I'm going to return to Miranda and uh, turn in my quest, rep or report my success, I guess. Um, Miranda looks up fr up at you from her desk. Um, yeah. Okay. What do you need? I have investigated the beast in Chimeria. And I tell her the tale. As hard Miranda listens to, to the tale, she grows angrier and angrier. Lorella seems to have unwittingly revealed some very questionable behavior on the part of her people. This is the stink of powerful magic about it. This has the stink of powerful magic about it. 
I will pass knowledge of your investigation to Redbeard. He will want to know. Is there anything else you wish to share? Um... Well, a couple of things. I was not allowed into their fortress. What? Not even let through the door? Oh, they have been too long out of the gaze of Avedon if they think this behavior will be tolerated. Um... Yeah, also their wizard killed the beast before I could speak with it. And I do not need to tell you how suspicious that behavior is. Perhaps they have heard rumors that Avedon is overstretched, and they think that uh, they can taunt us in such a way. We will continue to watch these Camarians very closely. Also, I was again contacted by a Shadow Walker. He spoke against Avedon. You tell the story to Miranda. She seems strangely unmoved. Perhaps you are being stalked. Someone might want to cultivate you as a spy, or kill you. It's actually not mysterious or unusual. It's routine, in fact. Speak with this creature or kill it. Whichever you choose, he is not important to our great work. Okay, I guess that was all then. Alright, you have told us enough to make more work. She collects the sample you took from the beast. And I am sad to say, what you uncovered in your trip to the Kva has, your, has only increased your labors. No rest yet. You must head back there immediately. Oh, back to the Kva it is then. Um... Okay, wh what do I need to do in the Kva? You rid the dragon of one problem, and another appears. The wretches are gone, but ogres are now attacking Goldcrag. Some of them are even raiding Zethron Zethron's lair. The dragon is furious. I am not pleased either. Happily, the southern portal will still take you where you need to go. Return to the dragon and learn what you can of, of this towering ogre menace. And make sure that I do not need to send you there again. Um, okay. Where are the ogres coming from? Is that known? Goldcrag is near the Titan Peaks, one of the Farlands, horribly inhospitable mountains full of titans, of no interest to the pact as long as they stay out of our lands. The ogres seem to see, the ogres seem to be coming from the border of that region. Zethron will tell you more. Why is this a matter for Avedon? Why am I asking you to kill pests? To expend your valuable time hunting down down but to expend your valuable time hunting down mere ogres? A good question. Ogres are extremely disorganized creatures, wretches even more so, and yet all at once the humanoids in that region have started acting in an oddly coordinated way. This bothers me. I want to be convinced that I should not be worried. Okay, what should I do? I don't think that subtlety is necessary. Kill anything that is causing Zethron to be irritated and thus causing that reptile to bother me. Should I consult with Redbeard? No, of course not. Oh, wait. He might want to ask you how you are settling in. You would not be in danger if you tried to speak with him. However, I doubt very much that he cares about these ogres. Um. Oh, a new question. You are always here. We are always working. Is there always this much chaos? She starts to give you a quick, sharp dismissal. But something stops her. She sighs, sets down her pen, and sits back in her chair. It is nor it is not normal. These troubles. I have had this post for a long time. I do not often get get tired, but she say she shakes her head. How long have you saved have you served here? Thirty years. Thirty years. Long enough that I am called this that I am called his wife. Me, his wife, it she rests her chin on her chest for a long moment. At first you think she might have fallen asleep. Then her head snaps up. She laughs. It has been a long time. I don't know why I do it. Except, of course, for the wealth and power. You are wealthy? You have roamed Linnaeus. You have seen how poor most of our lands are. We are still trying to recover from many decades of war. Compared to them, we live in constant luxury. When we are not, f when we are not out fighting. And how much power do you have? This desk looks humble, does it not? And yet, from here, I send warriors and assassins to all the known lands. Redbeard makes a few big decisions. I make many little ones. And the little ones matter greatly. Yes, they do. Will you ever retire? And if I did, if I set foot outside this fortress to face the grudges of the families of all that we, of all that we have acted against, how long do you think I would last? And you, do you think you will ever leave Avedon's service? Um. <laughs> well, between these two choices, I wish to die in the service of Evadon, I guess. A noble wish. 
and one that is always granted in the end. She shakes her hand, her head and picks up her pen. We must return to business. Okay. Um, that is all I need to know. Ogre Raiders. Once again, the Dragon Zethron is angry and requires assistance. Take the southern portal back to Goldcrag, visit a creature, and do what is required to keep it happy. Apparently, Ogre attacks are involved. Yes. Thanks. Game? Okay. Alright. Um, do you want something, Paulus? No. Okay. Um, yeah. That's going to be it for this video. Um, between this and the next episode, I'm probably going to um, take another look around Avedon, speak to people, see if I can pick up any more side quests. And I guess then, uh, yeah, I'm also going to distribute more equipment and level up my um, my other party members, my reserve, so to speak. And yeah, then we'll head out into the Kva again. But that's uh, for next time. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> comment, subscribe, yeah, comment and subscribe. And um, see you next episode. Until then, have a wonderful time and bye bye.